Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we're going to review some more Fallen Kingdom stuff, and it is... This guy. But it is not just this guy, it's not just this Velociraptor. I'm going to review the jumping Velociraptors, because they have this little motion where they jump, which we will try to do here in a minute. But they didn't just come in this color, they also come in this color, in this color, and then in that one. So you get numerous different variations. All of these come in separate packs. This one here obviously is blue, and he comes with an Owen Grady figure. This one is, I guess, supposed to be the raptor from the original Jurassic Park. It is part of the Legacy series. This one comes in a pack with a whole bunch of other dinosaurs. I think it has like two Gallimimus and a Dilophosaurus, a Pteranodon, Dimorphodon. It's a pack at Target. I think it's $50 for the whole set, so you'll have to pay 50 bucks if you only want this figure, unfortunately, because they don't sell him individually. And that's pretty much the same idea with this one here. This one, I don't have a clue. Maybe one of the Jurassic World Raptors from the first film is maybe the idea that they were going with as far as the paint scheme. But this one also comes in a pack of numerous other dinosaurs. This one actually, I believe, comes with an Alan Grant figure, the Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus, and uh, a Gallimimus. And I think that there might be another one. I can't really remember. But uh, it is also available at Target for, I think, $40. So if you want this one, you'll also have to purchase him from that pack. And then this guy here, I assume, is supposed to be maybe the Lost World Velociraptor. But I can't say that for sure. If you guys have an idea of who these ones are supposed to be exactly, then let me know. Because again, this one's a legacy figure. This is a legacy figure. This is a legacy figure. I don't think this one is because he's obviously blue. But, uh, yeah, I, I assume I'm correct in the assumptions of who these figures are supposed to be based after, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I really do like them quite a bit. I like their sculpts. I think that the sculpts are beautiful early Jurassic Park look, especially with the bump here that the newer ones don't have. Although, Blue happened to get it again just because they wanted to make a Blue, I guess. And we'll try the jumping thing here. You can see there. It doesn't work perfectly. Honestly, I've had a very hard time getting it to work at all with any of them, but See he doesn't jump too good a little bit, but it's it's an interesting idea It was a cool attempt at something original. It just doesn't work perfectly But anyway, let's get a closer look at them. We'll start with the blue you can see uh, I honestly don't need to review each and every one of them because you'll be able to see the same details in all of them They are all the same sculpt but uh, just different paint schemes. But you can see that the detail in the head is very, very nicely done. The entire head sculpt is very beautiful. I feel like that, like I said, with this little uh, hump here by the eye, that's something that the earlier Velociraptors in Jurassic Park had. The later ones like Blue and Delta, I don't believe they had that. Maybe one or two of them did, just to make a kind of like a throwback to the other movies. I don't really recall, but the sculpt is very, very beautiful. You can see some very nice detail. The eye is a nice yellow color. It looks very good. And uh, going back, you can see some beautiful detail here in the neck. Some little skin folds here on the underside. Unfortunately, you've got a seam here in the neck, but it's not terrible. And obviously, you have a, ske a seam here in the jaw, because it does have an articulated jaw. But actually, this blue... Now, I don't know if it's something with just the blue figures, or if it's just this figure. But uh, his jaw, I can't even open it. Like, I would have to actually force the jaw open very hard to get the jaw to open on my blue and it's the only one of the four that I have this issue with. I don't know why this has happened to him. I don't know if his jaw got warped sitting in the package or if it's an actual issue with all of the blues. So if you happen to have purchased this figure, this blue, you can let me know in the comments if you've had that same issue because the other three all work perfect but this one just his jaw is pretty much, it pretty much doesn't work at all. But you can see looking down here under the shoulder and stuff, beautiful detail. The hands look absolutely fantastic. The sculpt work is awesome all over. You can see the arms are very, very articulated. They go out to the side, up, down. They're very, very bendable material, so you can move the hands and the arm all over the place. You can see some more fantastic sculpt work on the side of the animal. You can see this, these scales are beautiful. Skin folds beautiful all over the place. A truly amazing sculpt. And even the blue streak going down the side is so nicely painted. It 
really, really looks very good. And some of the blue figures that I've seen have the blue, but they don't have the white outline. This one definitely does, so that's also a beautiful addition to this figure. You can see some very nice muscle tone here in the legs, and then down here into the calf. Kneecaps are there. Again, the Velociraptor's feet are quite large on these figures, but it's not that bad. It's again a standing issue to make sure they stand, I'd assume. You see the toenails are quite nicely sculpted. They're also very flexible. You can actually move the toes if you wanted to. And they have a beautiful gloss on them. The nails on the hands are not painted at all, but the nails on the toes are. The legs, unfortunately, do not move individually. The only way the legs will move is by pushing him down for his jumping motion. The neck, however, is quite articulated. You can move the neck and have him look wherever you would want, back and forth, and he can go up, and then, of course, down. And then looking back here, you can see some more very nice detail. Again, a seam here on the tail. The tail does not move. I don't know what the purpose really of the seam is, but it's there and the tail, like I said, doesn't move. You can see some very nice detail all over the place. Beautifully sculpted tail. So overall, the sculpt of these Velociraptors is really, really nice. You can see that there's just beautiful detail everywhere you look. I really feel like the Mattel Velociraptors are so close, so much closer, honestly, to screen accurate than even the Kenner ones, honestly. They just they really, really look screen accurate as far as the sculpt goes, minus the large feet, of course. And this one's a beautiful figure. It just has this mouth issue that I really wish it didn't have, but I guess it's not that bad. I just won't ever pose him with his mouth open. That one, as I mentioned earlier, comes with an Owen Grady figure, which you can see right here. He, uh, he looks okay. He doesn't really look too much like Owen Grady in my opinion, but he doesn't look that bad. I feel like the Alan Grant looks way more like Alan Grant than Owen Grady looks like Owen Grady, but it's not a bad figure at all. Very articulated, the legs move, arms move, all that fun stuff, the head moves. So it's a nice figure, but I'm more interested in Blue himself, who is now taking a nap, than I am in the Owen Grady figure. But they do look pretty good together. You see as far as size goes, they are sized perfectly to each other, in my opinion. And then you've got the original Velociraptor, or at least that's what I assume it is. It, uh, looks beautiful really a very nice paint scheme I love the darker coloration around the red eyes the paint jobs on these guys I feel like is very very nice quite beautiful looks good everywhere this one has all the same like I said because they're all the same thing has the same mobility arms legs everything moves the same but this one has a jaw that actually opens very nicely so this time you can see the teeth they're painted and sculpted pretty nicely the inside of the mouth is that purple color has a nice gloss in there so it looks good in the mouth, like I said. Works perfectly on this one. The other one, not so much, but as far as uh, the articulated jaw on this guy, looks fantastic. And this one overall is a very nice figure. I really like the paint. I like the entire look of it. So if it is meant to be the original Jurassic Park, it's not perfect as far as the coloration goes to the way they looked in that movie, but it looks very good. Then, as I mentioned, this one, um, I'm not sure if... This is supposed to be a Lost World Raptor. I, otherwise, I don't know what it would be. It's part of the Legacy series, so that is what I would assume it is. Also has an articulated jaw, and the inside of the mouth is actually a slightly different color than the other one. So, it's cool that they did put some variation in that also, because with the Raptors all being the same sculpt, it's very cool to see some differences between them. And this one I also think is a very, very nice figure. I absolutely love the color scheme of this, whether it's supposed to be Velociraptor from the Lost World or not. It's got some very nice orange here on the head with some darker coloration around the eye, and then the darker uh, brown here that runs the back, really darker orange arms, and then like a yellowish color, and then white on the underside. So as far as the paint on this one goes, it really, really looks quite nice. And then there's this guy here who also, like I said, all the articulated jaws work perfect on these guys, and this one kind of I'm not sure if his mouth is the same color as the last one or any, also a different tone. I don't know, but the mouth looks very good. The paint job on this also looks quite nice. I think it's supposed to be a Jurassic World Raptor, maybe Delta or Charlie. I don't know. I always get those ones confused as to who is who. Never really paid too much attention to which Raptor was which in that movie. It looks pretty good. I really like it. It's a very striking paint scheme. Different variation in color put all over the place. 
makes it look quite beautiful. Again, all the articulation is the same, same jumping gimmick and everything else, but also a very nice Raptor. So a beautiful pack of Velociraptors. This is not all the Velociraptors that are out there for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. There are quite a few different ones and there are even more on the way. These are just the four that I found that do the whole jumping deal. They're all the same sculpt, have all the same gimmick as far as the jumping thing goes. Just different paint schemes. So they all look very cool. You can have a very neat Velociraptor pack and then pose their heads in different fashions to give them a little bit of uh, their own flavor if you want to pose them and put them out for a display. As far as the size goes, I only really need to measure one because they're, as I said, all the exact same sculpt. And he's about eight inches long. His tallest point would probably be his tail, which is uh, almost four inches, a little under. So they're all a pretty good size. Definitely nicely sized Velociraptor figures. For a size comparison, we'll bring in Papo T-Rex. I'll actually move these guys apart so you can get an idea of how big so he's not in the background. But there you go, you can see that they're definitely smaller than him, but they're a very nice sized figure. Not small at all by any means. Definitely a good sized Velociraptor toy. As I mentioned earlier, the prices do vary on these guys. This one here is about $10, you can buy him individually. This one I believe is in the pack with uh, I think four other figures and he's about $40. This one is in the pack with five other figures I think and he is $50 and the blue is in a pack with Owen Grady who just happens to be drunk and fell over and he is $15 I believe well now they're all gonna eat Owen because of his drinking problem unfortunately to get the entire pack like I said you have to buy them all individually because you can't buy them all together but if you're like me and you want to buy all the figures it's not an issue because you got to get to it anyway I am having a terrible time with this obsession over these new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toys cannot stop buying them it's just taken over my life temporarily so hopefully I can just get them all so I can get this obsession over with and then I'll have them all and I'll feel wonderful but until then, I will continue to buy them and continue to review them until we're through them all. So if you guys like these figures, head to your local Target because that's where I bought all four of these guys. And they're all awesome. The only issue I have with any of them, like I said, is Blue's mouth does not work like at all. I, I've gotten it open, but I had to jam the crap out of it just to get it open. So. Hopefully you don't get one that has that issue, but other than that all four are absolutely awesome in my opinion And even little Owen Grady down there with his drinking problem is also a pretty good figure So if you do want to get these guys as I said head to your local Target I would put a link in the description, but so far I have not found any on the Target website But I haven't checked in the last couple days, so I'll have to check again either way if you want to see more Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom figures definitely hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next review. Thanks for watching.